Just a couple days ago, OpenAI unveiled its latest innovation. And honestly, it is mind-blowing. I hope you guys are ready for this because what you're about to see is truly unbelievable. And it is also a huge leap forward in artificial intelligence models. So if you never heard the term creative destruction, then you're about to get a crash course on what it means. For a few months now, we've known that a better AI video model was eventually coming. But Sora just took things beyond everyone's wildest expectations. It is the very first AI to make stunningly realistic videos up to a minute long. So in today's video, we'll take a look into what this new text-to-video model can actually do, and we'll dive into a few ways in which you can make money with this new technology. So last week, Sam Altman introduced his latest creation, Sora, which comes from the Japanese word Sky. It is a text-to-video model that also works with inputs like images or other videos to create incredibly realistic outputs. All the clips you'll see in this video were generated by Sora and have not been modified in any way. Now, this is definitely definitely not the first AI video model we've seen. We already have some open models like Stable Video Diffusion and private products like Pika, but Sora truly blows everything else out of the water. Not only are the images way more realistic, but they can maintain an incredible level of cohesion between frames, which is something that other models were drastically lacking. Sora can also render videos in different aspect ratios, and it can generate those videos either from a text prompt like in Midjourney or from a static image that gets brought to life. Now, to be completely honest, guys, the first time I ever saw these clips, I actually thought that OpenAI was cherry picking these examples, but apparently that's not the case. In fact, X has been flooded with more examples these past few days, and the results are just as amazing. Now, this technology is not yet available to the market, but we all know that it will be eventually. So the question then becomes, how is this technology going to change the world? Well, just last year, tools like Photoshop incorporated a whole suite of AI editing tools, which we all appreciate, by the way. And soon, you'll be able to do the same with video. Like, you might have a clip of a car driving down the road, and you might want to change the background scenery or even modify the weather. Now, you'll be able to do that without having to hire a camera crew or a CGI expert. I mean, there are still some limitations, and if you do look closely, you can tell that the image is AI generated. But I mean, come on, how long until this thing becomes indistinguishable from reality? I would say probably no more than just another year, considering how fast these models are evolving. So again, the question is, how could this disrupt current industries, and most importantly, how can you make money with this technology? Well, to begin with, think about stock footage as an industry. And I'm not even talking about real-life stock footage like drone images, I'm also talking about computer generated footage like this. For example, this abstract background that I use in most of my videos, this thing cost me 10 bucks. Imagine getting a subscription to Sora and being able to create dozens of animated backgrounds like this one in minutes, just like we do with mid-journey and static images. Now, need some aerial footage of a Greek archipelago to go with your travel blog? No problem. In fact, you don't even need to travel anymore or hire a local drone pilot to get you the images. You'll probably be able to get high-quality footage from Italy and the entire Mediterranean coast in just a few minutes. Yes, guys, these images are 100% AI generated from these prompts, which by the way are pretty basic prompts in terms of how much detail they provide. This means that the AI is basically able to understand what you mean by this and capture the spirit of what you're looking for. Are you preparing a documentary about the gold rush and you don't want to use a movie clip or hire a bunch of actors? No problem, just take a look at this. Even the camera movement and the criteria to have the camera fly over a creek or a river is just amazing. I mean, how does the AI even know that a shot like this makes sense. One thing is to be able to create a cohesive moving image, another thing is to have what I would call cinematic judgment to be able to show that image graciously. This is one of my favorites by far. Just the sheer level of detail here and the quality and consistency of the reflections, even on the girl's glasses, is just incredible. In fact, let's go ahead and copy this prompt and paste it on mid-journey to see what kind of results we can get. Okay, that is amazing, and it actually looks pretty similar. Now imagine this image suddenly becoming animated and transformed into a one-minute video. Well, that's where we are right now. So once this thing becomes available to the general public, I believe the first thing to go will be stock footage. If you are familiar with video editing, you know there's dozens of websites out there that offer you stock footage to use as b-roll in your content. So whenever you need some footage to go with the topic of your video, you can go ahead and search something like men hiking on a mountain, and you'll get a bunch of options. But you have to work with what you've got, and the level of customization to this footage is 
non-existent. You cannot change the clothes on this man or the mountain in the background or the weather or even the time of day. But with Sora, you're gonna be able to generate precisely the kind of footage you need for your video. And if it's anything like Mid Journey, which I believe it definitely will be, you won't be able to get the exact same footage even if you use the exact same prompt. Which means that whatever footage you generate will be 100% original and exclusive to your content. That is a game changer right there. And it's also most likely game over for stock footage providers, many of which are actually pretty expensive. So with this technology, you could start your own site and sell custom stock footage for a small subscription. Now you might wonder, why would anyone pay for a service like that when they can just create their own footage using Sora? Well, the answer is simple. For the same reason people today buy AI generated art wall or books, not everyone will be familiar with prompt crafting and the way AI video generators work. And also, I would assume that the subscription to this technology is probably not going to be cheap. So most people are not going to want to pay a full subscription if they can simply buy a specific piece of footage for a small price. The second way in which you'll likely be able to generate money with this technology is by creating short form promotional content. Already millions of brands hire camera crews, video editors and special effects artists to create short form promotional content for their products. But now you could hire a single guy to shoot your product and then use Sora to create a wonderful commercial for it in just a few seconds. One of the most exciting things about this technology is the modalities where it depends on inputs other than text alone, such as let's say image to video or even video to video. Just look at this example that Martin Nebelong uploaded to X just yesterday of a red car driving down a winding road. You can feed the AI a base video and in just a matter of minutes you can change the scenery to whatever you want, like a jungle or a cyberpunk city. What if you could drive in space on a rainbow road or even go back in time to the 1920s? I mean, it is just incredible. Just imagine the possibilities. Forget about logistics and special effects. Sora could take care of everything by simply feeding it a raw based video and then transforming it into a wild promotional video with special effects, different camera shots and much more. And finally, the last way in which I believe a lot of people is going to make a lot of money is long form content and storytelling. Now this is probably going to sound like a bold prediction, but I truly believe this technology will open the doors to the democratization of long form content in the same way YouTube democratized the media back in 2006. Before YouTube, you would turn on your TV and watch the people that other people selected to be on a screen in front of you. After YouTube, everyone could be on TV, you could be the media. YouTube gave regular every day people the chance to become producers, editors, actors, scriptwriters, and grow an audience and even become famous and make millions. That possibility did not exist prior to YouTube. And I believe this is going to do the same for movies. We still go to the movies and consume the content that large corporations put in front of us in the form of high budget blockbusters. But can you imagine a kid in his room creating the next Toy Story with just his laptop and a Sora subscription? No need for giant studios and hundreds if not thousands of employees anymore. You just need to be a good storyteller and let the AI do the rest. In my opinion, this will bring about a new breed of content creators that are going to revolutionize the storytelling market. Will this be a game over for giants like Disney and Pixar? I mean, probably. But it would also be a life-changing opportunity for an entire new generation of content creators. I mean, yeah, big studios are also going to use AI to create their products, but so will everyone else. And just like mainstream media took a massive hit and continues to lose viewers to internet content creators, the same will happen to these mainstream storytellers. So here's my take. In the next couple months, YouTube is probably gonna get flooded with new videos about how to make money with Sora. But when you think about ways to monetize a new technology, you first and foremost have to think about the output. What does this technology produce? And the answer, of course, is video it produces video. So it doesn't really produce anything new. What it does is it makes that production much easier. Now, what do I mean by this? That Sora is probably not going to bring about a whole set of brand new markets with it, but it will make existing markets more easily accessible to new participants, particularly on the production side. Think about what happened with Mid Journey. Its output are images. And what it does is it generates those images in a fraction of the time it would otherwise take if you did it the old fashioned way. But if you browse through YouTube and other platforms, including this channel, you'll quickly notice that Mid Journey is mostly being used to produce something that was already being produced through other less productive means. So people continue to sell the same products as usual, ebooks or printable wall art or t-shirt designs, and all that's really changed is that those markets have now become accessible to people that did not possess the skills to produce those designs on their own, or didn't have the capital to pay someone to create them. And the result is a huge uptake in supply, which of course benefits consumers and suppliers alike. And this is exactly what new technology 
technologies should be about. They should make our lives easier, they should make us more productive and make our jobs more enjoyable. So definitely exciting times ahead guys. Please let me know in the comments what other ways of monetizing this technology you can think of. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video if you found it useful and I'll see you guys next week. Say, say, say my name.